revelation uh, that, that God wants to give unto us to cause us to make a change. That's why in order to receive a revelation from God, you have to have your spiritual habit or you'll miss it. <laughs> Amen? You have to think in a spiritual way or you'll miss it. Uh, when, when people come to church, to say in this atmosphere, they should always, and we should always come in this atmosphere, uh, uh, having our, our spiritual hat, because we're in a spiritual place to receive spiritual things from God. Uh, when people come uh, here and not thinking on the lines of spirituality, they miss the move of God, because God is a spirit. And they that worship him, notice the emphasis, must worship him in spirit and in truth. And, and when we have natural encounters, it's good to even look at your natural encounters with people through a spiritual lens to see what thus saith the Lord, so that you won't miss out on a revelation or a God opportunity. Amen? God gives us opportunity and he reveals things to us on a spiritual level. If we're not thinking spiritually, we'll miss it. We'll miss the revelation of God. And God sends his revelation through his word. Amen? Um, all right. Now, we want to look at here then a life-changing encounter. A life-changing encounter. As we said, some encounters uh, can change your life and the direction of your life forever. Uh, and, and especially when one encounters Jesus, he can change the direction of your life forever. Uh, those that have, have had a spiritual connection with him, I know your life is <laughs> uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and and your, your, not only your natural acuity, uh, but your spiritual acuity has gone up. Uh, your spiritual IQ has to increase because you're dealing with him that is light. Uh, and in him there's no darkness at all. Amen? Um, I remember, I'm going to get into the Bible study tonight. But I remember even, even uh, when the Lord first saved me and I went to Bible study, I was thinking in a natural way. And uh, the pastor was talking about marriage and what the husband should do and what the wife should do. And I'm listening because he was talking about the wife should uh, submit herself to the husband. And I've never heard that kind of talk before. And I said, oh man, he's about to tear up his Bible class. Then you're gonna have a you're gonna have a uh lick up a revolt up in here. Because that was new to me. Uh, that that kind of teaching was new. And and when nothing happened, nobody was ducking, no shoes flying. I was like, whoa, wait a minute, where am I at? <laughs> there you go. And and I received some spiritual wisdom and knowledge and understanding even how to operate as a husband. Huh? How to operate as a husband. So, so when you come to Christ, you should be ever, uh, uh, I'm going to say it this way, the scripture says, ever learning and not coming to the knowledge of the truth. You should be ever learning and coming to the knowledge of the truth. Why? Because Jesus said himself, I am the what? The way the truth and the life. Huh? Uh, and when we have an encounter with Christ, we should continually increase in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, so, so, uh, you want to ask uh, Elder Eloi, said, should we read from it? And I want to come from uh, the book of St. John, chapter number 4. And verse number one. And our subject today, as again, is a life.
changing encounter. A life changing encounter. Amen? Some encounters we have can change the direction of our life forever. Amen?
is what? Come upon me. That power represents the authority to, to be an effective witness. He said, and ye shall be witnesses. Didn't he say that? Huh? When you receive your power, when you receive your anointing, when you receive the Holy Ghost, you are to be a witness. Huh? And to be an effective witness, you have to have compassion. Amen? Um, 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 for people, for souls to be effective. Amen? Um, now, what does that word compassion mean? When, you, when I say the word compassion, what, what does that mean to you? The word compassion. Jesus had compassion, didn't he? When he saw the multitude, uh, when he was about to deliver them, uh, and, and after he had preached unto them, and he had compassion on them because they were hungry. And then he wanted to send them away hungry. So what does the word compassion mean? Yes. Yes. Did you hear what she said? She said, you, you, you feel uh, what the people are going through and you want to help them. And that, that's the key. That's what compassion means. To see what people are going through and you want to help them. Nehemiah, when, when he inquired in Nehemiah chapter number one, about the condition or the state of his brethren. And they came and told Nehemiah that it's awful, it's bad. Huh? He was moved with compassion and fasted and prayed and sought and put his life in danger huh? because he was the cupbearer for the king. And if he would have went before the king uh, with a sad countenance, uh, the king could have put him to death. But, but, but he was willing to risk it all uh, to help his brother. Uh, you follow? That's compassion. He was moved with compassion. We have to be moved with compassion uh, uh, to be able to witness to people in an effective way. Amen? Have a burden for soul. Amen? When should we lose that drive or that desire? Never. We should never lose that uh, drive or desire. Now, if that drive or desire is not there in you and burning hot, uh, you have to seek God and pray. Uh, uh, what did Jesus say? Jesus said, the harvest is plenty. Didn't he say that? But the laborers are fruit. Didn't he say in the next verse, pray that the Lord would send out his labor. We ought to pray that, that we witness uh, and, and have a desire to change a life. Amen? Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. God has put in you earth and, uh, and we are earthen vessels and we have treasures. Am I right? And there's a lot of people out there that don't know God. Amen? Uh, but we with the Holy Ghost we know him. Am I right? Um, and it's up to us to reveal him. Didn't Jesus teach that? He said, do what? Let your light shine before men that they may do what? See your good works to them to do what? Glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen? And he said, don't worry about hiding your stuff. So don't hide it. Huh? Don't hide your anointing. Don't hide your light. He said, he said, no man lighted a candle and put it under a bush. But he put us on a what? A candlestick. So they can give light to all that are well. In the house. Amen. Or in the room. I like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, let me say this. Let me say this. If you're in a room with a bunch of light, is your light going to shine bright? Huh? No! You gotta go to in order to shine light, right? You gotta go to somewhere that's dark. Huh? huh? You gotta go, in other words, you gotta go to people that's not saved so that you can shine 
the brightest. Am I right?
speaking, generally speaking, people gather their water uh, earlier in the day or later in the evening because you know at noontime it's hot. Huh? Follow? Yeah. Huh? So she tried to run under the radar. <laughs> oh, I feel a whole sermon coming. Gee, sometimes we run, try to run under the radar with Jesus there waiting on us. <laughs> she was trying to run under the radar. Right, I'm talking like uh, uh, now. Uh, under the radar, uh, but Jesus was right there waiting. Amen? Oh, let me you can run, but you can't hide. Jesus 
is always asking questions. Uh, uh, and what's the reason for asking the question? Get an answer. Get people thinking. Uh, 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 you, want, you want to open people up. <coughs> Get them to thinking. Amen? Hallelujah. All right, read. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Uh, because the reason why that verse is there is because normally his disciples would have gotten him. Uh, and there was a reason why his disciples weren't there. Uh, because uh, one reason I'm telling you in the scripture is because they were scratching their head wondering why he talking to this Samaritan woman. Uh, why are you talking to her, Jesus? You know what type of woman she is. Uh, uh, see, 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 you know, I, I thank God once again that, 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 that his ways are what? Not our way. His thoughts are what? Not our thoughts. Amen? All right, read. I, uh -huh. the woman of Samaria, uh -huh. him, yes. how is it that thou, being a Jew, ask to drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? All right, now know it. He said, uh, uh, read that verse again, I'm sorry. Then said the woman of Samaria, to him, how is it that thou, being a Jew, all right, now we've already explained that. Uh, that the, the Jews and the Samaritans, Samaritans, they had no dealings with one another is because the Jews hated the Samaritans because they were uh, half breeds. Uh, thank you, Lord. All right, Pete? Well, the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. No dealings. They don't, they don't bang with each other. All right, Pete?
Believe on him. Believe on Jesus. Am I right? And that's what he was doing. He said, if thou knowest the gift of God, he's talking about the Holy Ghost, and who it is that saith thee, I, I, you knew who I was. <laughs> Hallelujah. You, you know the Holy Ghost, and you know who I am. Read. If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, give me to drink. Okay, thank you. Hold on for a minute. See now, the Holy Ghost deals with my mind. When we're witnessing the people, we, we, we talk, I want to say it this way. You got 10 minutes, just talk a minute about yourself and spend the rest of the night talking about the Lord. Not because it ain't about you. It's about Him. Am I right? Huh? If you can forget my name, am I right? But, you, but I want you to know His name. Huh? Why? Because there's power in His name. Salvation and deliverance in his name. Am I right? Hallelujah. So don't be long winded about yourself. Be long winded about Jesus. All right, read. If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, give me to drink, thou wouldst have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. And notice, he said, and you would have what you ask. That's the kind of faith we have to give people when we're witnessing to them. Give them hope. Amen? Especially to a dying world, dying individual. <laughs> if you see the individual dying, you say, well, if they die, you might as well go ahead. Uh, no, give them some hope. Uh, and that hope is Christ. That hope is Jesus. Am I right? All of you. All right? Read. The woman said unto him, Sir, Thou hast nothing to go with, uh -huh. and the well is deep. Hallelujah. From whence then hast thou that living water? Now, she is like Nicodemus. When Jesus told them that they got to be born again of the water and of the spirit. And Nicodemus, what did he say? Can a man enter his brother's womb the second time and live? He was thinking carnal. He was thinking natural. Am I right? Huh? But Jesus is speaking spiritual. Huh? And same way with the Samaritan uh, woman. She was thinking carnal or, or natural. You follow? When Jesus was trying to give her spiritual food. Huh? That's why uh, when I was studying this, the, the Lord was dealing with my heart. He said, see, this is the condition of people who come into this atmosphere. Uh, and don't receive anything because uh, uh, if when you come into this atmosphere here, I'm talking about the presence of the church, you have to switch on the switch of being spiritual. This is a spiritual atmosphere. Uh, and you've got to uh, 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 be, get into a spiritual mode in order to receive a revelation from God. Uh, people don't receive revelations from God without being spiritual. Why? Because God is a spirit. And the things that are, 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 are given of God are spiritually deserved. All right? Um, so when people come and the praise and the worship is going on and they sit like a buck on the law, they're not being spiritual. They're not, they're not tapping into the spirituality that is going on. Normally, that's caused by distraction. Huh? Distraction. Man, I wonder what I'm going to have for dinner. <laughs> oh, man, did you, did you see what Sister Hathaway got on? Huh? See what that brother got on? Huh? Stuff like that. Man, I can't believe he said that. Huh? Not, 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 not discerning. Not getting into the praise and the worship, meditating on the Lord. Uh, we ought to meditate on the Lord. All right? And then when, when the Spirit is moving, uh, we ought to be praying uh, that, that God, God increase your anointing. Can I, can I teach a principle here just for a minute? Uh, that, that 
God gives the other. And you can stir up the gift that is in you and speak in tongues. Amen? Huh? So, so when the Spirit is moving, huh? stir up the gift. Huh? Huh? Speak in them like all tongues as the Spirit of God. Let the Holy Ghost pray. Huh? You may not know huh? what, what to pray for. Hallelujah. But the Holy Ghost. that 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 
that, that will be with you to bring you into everlasting life. My God, I, 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 I want that life. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I want to live again. Huh? Hallelujah. That's what Jesus would tell us. Huh? So when we're witnessing the people, we got to point them to Jesus and tell them that he's able to save your life. Huh? To the other goal. Am I right? Oh, I agree. I'm going to let y'all go. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water. Now, no, now, nah, now, nah, he's got her on the hook. Huh? He's got her on the hook. He said, Sir, do what? She, he, he made it enticing. Amen? Uh, you got, when you present the gospel of Jesus Christ, make it enticing. Amen? Uh, look at Paul, when he witnessed. To, to that king, uh, he said, you all almost persuaded me <laughs> uh, to be a Christian. Uh, and Paul still didn't let him go when he said that. He said, man, I altogether wish that you were like me, <laughs> except for these bombs. Uh, uh, get, get people uh, desirous of what you have. Am I right? Uh, that's what brought me in. Uh, I saw a brother, uh, and he was sitting behind me, and looked like he had no worries and peace that passed all understanding. Uh, and I desired that. Uh, that lured me in. Uh, hallelujah. Now, and, and I went to a meeting one night. Uh, hallelujah. Because, because he, 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 he was the lure that, and, and the bait that God used to bring me in. Uh, God, God wants to use you uh, to bring people in. Am I right? Hallelujah. Does God rejoice over one sinner uh, that, that turns their heart back to Him? It, does that make God glad? Uh, we, we ought to do the things that please God uh, and make Him glad. When you share the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, don't, don't you get a lot of opposition trying to share it? Uh, why? Because the enemy don't want you to share it. Uh, there's a lot of things, negative thoughts that go through our minds uh, to try to block us from sharing. That should be an indication to you that this gospel ought to be shared. Huh? Hallelujah. Go ahead. There's a scripture that says... Hallelujah. <laughs> that says that, uh, that speaking in tongues is a witness to the unbeliever. Uh-huh. Give me this one. I won't put you, put you up. I read. 
But Jesus was willing to read. I read. Now did come hither to draw. Uh-huh. Now, that's how you know that she was still sticking on the natural. Because she said, uh, she was thinking that there it was something in Jacob's well uh, that, that could satisfy her so that she don't have to keep coming back to that well and drawing water. But Jesus was talking on a whole other level. Yeah. <laughs> All right, read. Jesus said unto her, uh -huh. Go, call thy husband. Now, if, now, you would think that the Lord changed the subject. But he didn't change the subject. Uh, he was just drawing her uh, in so that she could receive what she was asking for. You follow? So in order to, to, to receive it, uh, she had to come to a, a place of repentance. Uh, hallelujah. When, when, when we're witnessing the people, uh, we ought to bring them to a place of repentance. You follow? Y'all with me? Now notice. Read what Jesus said. He told her what? Jesus said unto her, uh -huh. Go, call thy husband. All right, read. Come hither. Read. The woman answered and said, uh -huh. I have no husband. I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, Thou hast well said, uh -huh. I have no husband. Yeah. But thou hast had five husbands. <laughs> and he whom thou now hast is not thy husband. All right, now, question. What commandment was she breaking? Did she break? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Right? We agree with that? She wasn't married. Uh, but she was sleeping with married guys. Uh, yeah. So, so she was breaking the Ten Commandments that said, Thou shalt not. Uh, commit adultery, right? When you when you're witnessing the people, when you're talking to people, you have to expose their sin huh? in order for them to do what? Repent. Absolutely. Huh? And the Ten Commandments was given to expose the sin. That's all it was meant for. Huh? to expose sin. Wasn't meant to save people from sin. It was meant to expose sin. So somebody might say to you, well, I, I haven't sinned. You ask the question, have you lied? Have you never lied? <laughs> uh, and what they gonna say? If they are. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Have you have you uh, what is it? Take the name of the Lord God in vain. Have any other God before me? I have never had any other God before me. Well, have you ever put anything before your God? They got to answer. Uh, yeah. You follow? Uh, so, so in dealing with people, I'm trying to help us so we can build, we can build the kingdom of God. If you want to be an effective witness, you've got to know the Ten Commandments. Uh, and then when you're witnessing to them, uh, and they really want what you got. Uh, you've got to bring them to repentance. You follow? And, and what brings them to repentance is knowing that they have sinned. Huh? Uh, that's what Jesus did. Took on that journey. Exposed their sin to help her. Not to condemn her, but to help her. All right, read. I mean, I mean that's what I was going to say. Jesus is very wise in dealing yeah. with this particular woman because he didn't accuse her of anything. No. Nope. The very fact he told her, go get your husband. Yeah. He knew her heart. He knew she didn't have a husband. Yeah. So she told on herself. He didn't accuse her of anything. Right. She said, I have no husband. You know, so he, he was very wise as to knowing how to draw her in. He made her tell on herself and other things. Yeah. In other words, he cut her throat easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's it. You know, he wasn't malice about it. We don't be malice about it. You're a sinner. You're a sinner. You lie. You lie. Now you're losing. Now, that'll come to conclusion. Go ahead. Also, um, she realized that Jesus knew what he was talking about. Yeah. She, could, she told her she could have a living water after she knew that Jesus.
was doing what he was talking about, she realized that he could fulfill what he was saying. Yeah. He could give her that living water. He could give it to her. Now, in the next scripture, it says that she perceives that he's a prophet. Yeah. So now she knows what he's saying can come true. Amen. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, she's moving from what he just said. That, that, that because of what he said, first she saw him as a Jew. This encounter, she's going to see him as a prophet. And then she's going to take the next step and see him as the Messiah. Uh, that's when she's going to get saved. Uh, uh, and she went from revelation to revelation to revelation. Uh, 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 all right, read, where we at? Uh-huh.
of the scripture that says, God does not hear sinners. Does God hear sinners? Absolutely. Any kind of 
God is a spirit. Uh -huh. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, now, I'm going to make this point and I'm going to let you go. God is a spirit, right? And they that worship him must worship him in what? Spirit and what? Truth. Amen. So, 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 when, when we worship God, when we worship God, we have to worship Him. Oh, okay, thank you. Holy Spirit. Bring it back to me. Yeah, bring it back to me. All right? When we, when we, I'm just using people, when we come into the sanctuary and we're not spiritual, right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking about my other stuff. I'm thinking about something different other than God. The commandment is entering his gates with what? And coming to his courts with what? Faith. That's a commandment. Praising and worshiping God is not a suggestion. <laughs> Y'all believe that? It's not a suggestion. That everything that has breath, praising you. Go ahead. Yeah. 